Hello again. Let me just say, isn't the math for computer science so much more interesting? Oh, it's just so much more to it. It's, uh, I just like it so much better than regular math, or well, whatever regular math is. This is regular math, right? All the other math is weird math. This is regular math. All right. So let's uh, let's start with a, a set with five elements. One, two, three, four, five. Let's say a set with uh, three elements. Let's say four, five, six. You have A. You have B. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's make sure, sure we've got all of our assumptions correct. Let's see, A has five elements, that's true. B has three elements, that's true. Okay, so now let's see, what is A minus B? A minus B is the set, let's see. Now, A minus B is the set of all X that satisfy this AND statement. So let's see, now is one in A? Yes. Is one not in B? Yes. So one is in A and one is not in B. So that puts one in A minus B. Two, is two in A? Yes. Is two in A and also is two not in B? Yes, so we put him there. Is three in A and not in B? Yes. Now what about four? Four is in A, but four is not, but four is in B, right? So, so let's see, um, just real fast, let's see, four in A and four not in B, right? This is true. This is false. True and false is false. That's why four is not in A minus B. Similarly, five is not in A minus B. Similarly, six is not in A minus B because it fails the uh, first condition that X is in A. Six is not in A, so we have false and true in that case. Okay, so now look, A minus B, right? Cardinality of A minus B is three. Remember, this is the number of elements when you put the absolute value around like that. So that's three. Okay. All right, so now you think to yourselves, okay, how could we uh, modify this so that A minus B gets more elements. All right, let's see what we can, how can we modify this a little bit? Okay, so, well, let's see. What if we take four out of here? Oh, what if we take four out of here? Right, if we take four out of there, All right, let's just put a seven there. Remember with sets, order doesn't matter. So um, that takes four out of here, puts four there and seven over there. I know you like to see this as five, six, seven, but it, it, remember with sets, order doesn't matter. So five, six, uh, seven is the same as seven, five, six. Okay, now, let's see. Now A minus B has the numbers one, two, three, four in it. And the cardinality of A minus B, the number of elements of A minus B now becomes four. Okay, 
Now, how can we, is there a way to modify that? And, uh, and you know, so that we get more elements in A minus B? Sure, right? Let's put, move five over there. If we move five over there, we gotta put something else here. Let's put an eight there. Move five over there. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. We'll put eight there. Now A minus B becomes one, two, three, four. Oops. Five, throw five in there. And now we got five. That's the biggest it could possibly be, right? It couldn't, because A only has five elements, right? So, um, this the set containing all the things that are in A and not in B, to, to satisfy this first condition, X is in A, it can only be one of five elements. So the answer is five. 